Oh, sweet, a Twix. Uh, I wonder how long this has been here. YouTube Joe's Guides one year with another episode of the Zombie Weapons Guide. Today we're back in the garage. Uh, my parents are going away this weekend, so I have the garage again. But for some reason they took, uh, they didn't take their own car. They went with my neighbors, so we can't test in here. But it's good to be back regardless. Um, so anyways, today's video we will be doing, I hope you guys can see me, uh, we will be doing rebar. Um, decent weapon. The thing that's tricky about rebar is um, you don't necessarily know what the carbon content is, which really judges how strong it's going to be and how it's going to hold up. Um, this has a white tip. Not sure if that means anything, but when you go to like Lowe's or Home Depot and you go buy this, they pull out a packet because they can't put like, you know, they can't put um, barcodes on this so they pull out a little like packet thing and they go through and they see okay that's what this is and then they you know do that um so that probably tells you what the carbon content is and all that stuff but i'm not sure um anyways so rebar uh pretty decent weapon now like i said depending on the carbon content carbon content um it might be a good or bad weapon um i saw an episode of um Man vs. Wild, in this episode, he was actually in the city, and he found a rebar, and he was just able to bend it with his hands. Now, this one, I don't think I could. I might be able to bend it with my feet, but I don't want to try that, because, I mean, this is a nice piece of rebar. I might use it for something after this. Um, but, actually, there's something written right here. Oh, never mind. It's just where, like, turkey or something like that. But anyways, yeah, it's a pretty good weapon. Um... As long as you get the right piece. You know, it definitely can penetrate the brain um, from either side, you know. I saw a guy make a knife out of rebar, so if you get, like, if you're able to make a knife, maybe you get somebody in your party as a blacksmith, you can have um, double-use rebar. So you can have, like, one end is a knife, and then one end is, you know, just regular. Maybe he could forge, um, like, a sledge hand, like a sledge end or something like that, make it a little bit bigger so you could have double-ended you know, weapon, um, but that's one good thing is this is, this part is kind of sharp because it got cut off or something, but if you can hammer it down and make it e even into a spear, you can stab through the temple and through the eye, and this will hold up, um, you could probably go like this, but I'm not sure, um, this is definitely good, like, you could break a zombie's leg with this, they'll fall down, so that's one good thing, um, it definitely breaks bones and penetrates brains. Um, you can get this in all different shapes and sizes, which is very good. Um, just once again, look out for how strong and how weak it is. Um, I think this would be the ideal size, maybe a little bit longer. If you get a longer one, you would probably have to use two hands. So this is how long this one is, but if you get one that's like this long, you probably need to use two hands. Um, one thing that a lot of people do, and this is in like a lot of video games and stuff like that, is um, it, it, creep... Rebar is mainly used for, um, like, holding together concrete, I guess. I don't know. But um, that's why usually in video games and shit, you see people using rebar with concrete at the end. Now, that's going to make it a lot heavier to use, but it will be a better, somewhat better weapon. You just got to watch out for if you miss while using it, you fall over, and then you get bitten. But um, that, that definitely will help. Um, and then maybe you could use that piece to forge into a knife, but the only problem is it's going to be heavy as shit, and the other thing is how are you going to get it out unless you have, like, um, like a pick or something, um, so be mindful of that, but anyway, rebar, um, pretty good weapon, actually, um, so, yeah, we can't do tests in here, we're going to have to do them outside in the rain, hopefully my camera doesn't get ruined, but, uh, yeah, let's get to some tests.
Until next time, this is Joe's Guides 1 saying don't fear the apocalypse. Welcome.